Hello everyone, welcome back to the Forge. I've got a pretty cool package from the folks over at Vivor. This is one of their 132 pound anvils. They sent it to me to try out, put it through the paces. And uh, I do have to say that their packaging is, is pretty good. It's nice having a wooden box, even though it did bust uh, at the corner there and the bottom, the, the feet have went through the bottom of the box but that's all right. My cavalry anvil that y'all seen me use in the videos was actually shipped in a cardboard box. And so when I received it, it was just a, basically a label and a small piece of cardboard stuck on an anvil. So, but with that being said, I'm gonna get this out of here, get it set up. We'll do a quick walk around. I'll take some flat discs on my angle grinder and clean it up. Uh, get the line there, the casting line off the horn here and get it all cleaned up and then we'll get to work on forging something. All right. all right, there it is sitting on top of my cavalry anvil. I believe my cavalry anvil is a 113 pound anvil. And so this one's got 20 pounds or so on it. Looks much larger. My cavalry anvil does set up higher. Uh, I do like the fact that this has a nice flat work top. Like I said, once we clean this horn up and stuff, get that line off of there, all this paint. There's a few little rough areas here and there from the casting process. This here's the hardy hole. See, there's some little, that's grease is what that is. Hardy hole actually feels pretty good. I mean, there's not a whole lot down in there. And not a lot of slag or nothing, so that's good. Uh, so not too bad so far. Like I said, I'm going to take the the grinder and the flap disc and clean all this up and get the uh, the top here degreased, cleaned up, and then we'll put it to the test. The way I'm going to test this anvil out is uh, there's a lot of channels out there like Old Hickory Forge, you know, Tyrell Knife Works uh, recently did one of this. Uh, Walter Sorrells did one recently. Uh, there's a lot of channels out there that have reviews of these. Christ Centered Iron Works uses a lot of Evor anvils for their giveaways or other brands that's made by the same company. And so there's a lot of material out there showing about the rebound of the hammer and stuff like that. We'll go ahead and do that as well. But the best way that I can test this out is by actually forging something on it. Now that'll tell me everything I need to know. And uh, so we're going to forge a little knife out on this as soon as I get it cleaned up and everything. So that's enough of me talking. Let's get to work and get to moving some metal. All right, see you in a second. All right, so the other anvil's cleaned up. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let you be the judge of what y'all think is better. I know which one he is, uh, but I'll save that for a minute. All right, here's my cavalry anvil. This is the rebound of the hammer on it. So it's pretty good. Uh, use this anvil for a long time, no complaints about it. So I'm going to go ahead and swap these out at this point and get the uh, Vivor anvil over here, get it mounted up and everything, and then we'll do the same thing and then we'll get to work. All right, here's the rebound on the Vivor anvil. Not really a whole lot of difference, but there is a noticeable difference. I think the cavalry anvil does have a better rebound, but it's also over twice as more expensive than this one is. So that's to be expected. All right, so I got it mounted up. I'm gonna get some steel tossed in the forge. We'll get to making something.
there's a little knife blank forged out. Could still use a little more work, but that's okay. Pretty pleased with this anvil though. Uh, no denning in the top whatsoever. All this discoloration here you see is just marks from being used. There's no dents whatsoever in the top of this. No chipping. Uh, I even put my hardy tools in here and sometimes on cheaper anvils it'll crack around the edges. It held up real well. Uh, like I said, pretty pleased. Uh, now this anvil is less than half the cost of the cavalry anvil I've got. And cost is a big thing. And a lot of, I know a lot of people are like, you'll get a Peter Wright or go search, search uh, Facebook Marketplace. Well, they're expensive as I'll get out. And if you're wanting to get into bladesmithing and blacksmithing, for 200 and something dollars, I think it's like 250, 270. I don't really remember. But uh, to get an anvil like this, and I mean, like I said, you just watched me forge this. I didn't just talk about the anvil. I actually made something on it. So you see how well it works. Uh, but to be able to start with something like this versus a piece of railroad track or something someone's cobbled together on Facebook Marketplace and they want like $300 for it, uh, it's a pretty good deal. I mean, 200 and something bucks, you can save that money up, uh, go do some odd jobs, make the money, you know, sell something that you're not really using or something. Uh, get the money for it and uh, it's a great starter anvil I mean the horn here right here there's no denning in the horn from where I used it I did put just a quick and dirty grind on this with a flap disc but it performed well um, as for longevity if you watch the channel I will be forging on this for the foreseeable future just to see how well it holds up um, any projects I have, plus anything that I sell, you know, off of YouTube, like, or sell off of my website on Etsy and everything, I'll be forging on this as well. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Like I said, you'll see it in the coming in the videos coming up. I would definitely head over and take a look. They have smaller anvils as well, but I'm very pleased with this. Uh, I can see this definitely coming in handy in the future. It gives me two anvils now, which means I can do some classes for some local people, uh, stuff like that. So. But there you go. Got a knife forged out. I don't know if I'll be finishing this knife anytime soon. It'll probably go in the stack of unfinished stuff. But it held up and it did the job. So go give them a go give them a look. Check out their website. Definitely worthwhile, especially if you're just getting into the craft. And with that being said, I appreciate you for watching this. If you would hit that sub button down below, ring the notification bell to be notified of the newest content as it posts. Also follow along, see how this angle holds up. Uh, appreciate you all, and I'll catch you on the next one. You all have a good one. Bye-bye.